Crump has it. Pump fakes. Gets a look. Count it for three, and we're tied. Bulldogs out of timeouts. Go to the basket. They don't want a foul. Weatherspoon against Harris. Contested shot, and he draws the foul. And Tom Crean can't believe it. You think this guy's a competitor? You think he wants to win? Wow. We just said, go to the basket. They don't want to foul. And he gets him down low. It's the correct call. He actually just had something thrown on the court by a Bulldog fan. Wow. So Weatherspoon missed the free throw. Wow. A stuffed animal good. came out of the crowd. And they could decide to utilize a technical foul here. They certainly should. I mean, the fact that it happened while he was shooting, that it was behind Quindary Weatherspoon, but it did happen while he was shooting the basketball. I think you have to make that call. Well, Weatherspoon will get one more free throw. It was deemed a shooting foul. Bulldogs in the double bonus moving forward. I mean, it's tough, right? It's, it's really after the shot, and it didn't bother him. But to detour that from fans continuing to do that, I think you have to call a technical foul here. And Steven Anderson just giving us the indication that's exactly what he's going to do. I think it's the correct call. So Weatherspoon missed the first free throw. That's huge. Makes the technical, and now one more free throw coming. Takes a little pressure off of you. You just can't do that. Love the passion by these Georgia Bulldog fans. As much as Georgia struggled in conference play to continue to fill up this arena, but for fans across the SEC or anywhere, you just can't do that in that situation. Unfortunate for the Bulldogs. Weatherspoon will miss the free throw intentionally, and that'll do it.